I think that right now we are already seeing the inflection point. Oh. So I think what we're seeing right now is a combination of the availability of information sharing platforms like GitHub or GitLab, Bitbucket, lots of different ways of sharing these sorts of things. And KiCad is uniquely well-placed to take advantage of these because all of these platforms are text-based version control systems. So the sharing happens between text files. They can take binary files. They don't work as well taking binary files. And you can't do online parsing. Online parsing doesn't work as well with, with the binary files. KiCad is a text file based format because we're not trying to hide anything. We want, we want everyone to know how to use our files, how to take the information contained in those files and build new things with them. And we work really well with the existing text document sharing systems out there, GitHubs and GitLabs that will create as time goes on anything that gets put into github for instance under an open hardware license exists in perpetuity so the next person who comes out we're i was talking with a number of folks yesterday at the pcb west conference about where they find designs for certain kinds of, for STM32 reference designs, for instance. And some manufacturers, or some places will have a reference design that does one thing. Right? The, the reference design does, it's, it's, one, it's one board for a reference design. And it didn't do what they were what they were looking for. So we went and on the KiCad website and I said, "Well, let's let's take a look here. We have a library on the KiCad website of thousands of projects that are made with KiCad, and this gets bigger and bigger every day. Uh, people submit their projects when they're uh, when they create open hardware projects. And I said, "Let's see what we have in here that uses STM32." And we scroll scroll down and found oh, there were. 20 different STM32 projects in there. They're all production projects. They're all in, in production right now. So they all are working. They have open source software code associated with them to run the STM32. And we not only found a number of different options for this particular person to base their idea on, but we actually we found a project that used the STM32 and an infrared camera uh, camera system, which was exactly what what this person needed. And they run a battery company, right? That they, they wanted to set up a test jig for batteries and if they can do that faster and more effectively then they can grow their business more effectively they're not interested in they're not selling a stm32 based infrared camera system they want to use something that doesn't exist right now to make their production process of batteries more efficient and that exists in open hardware suddenly he wasn't looking at a three month development timeline with multiple iterations of, of this system. He was looking at taking this open hardware system, making some minor modifications to connect to their, their automation line and being up and running in weeks rather than months. That's a huge win. And that is made possible by open hardware combined with the sharing platforms, the software, uh, the code, the text sharing platforms combined with KiCad, with the ability to have 
anyone open that project and make improvements and modifications to their specific uh, to their specific use case. That's you com- awesome. you compare that with a with a closed source right. system that sure you can put that on on GitHub as well, but there suddenly you're saying all right, if you want to make these modifications to this open hardware project, you need a license, right? Right? <laughs> go out, go out and and spend X number of thousands of dollars for a license to see if this project does actually meet the needs of your business and you can make the modifications to it and maybe it doesn't work right that's that's the difference there is is you can download KiCad, you can download these projects you can make the modifications you can use them for your business and Maybe he uploads his version of this to GitHub as well, adding to the amount of useful information out there in the world for the next person who comes along to improve on, to make it better. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a great ecosystem to be a part of.